Hello and welcome, Robert Mead, Power of Imagination. And I have a marvelous guest with me. He, he actually is in the country of Nigeria. And he has accomplished some amazing things as a life coach and as an imagination coach. He's been helping hundreds of people around the world and in his own country. And uh, I have the privilege of interviewing him tonight. It's going to be fascinating because a big part of his focus has been, been about how you can effortlessly make money in your lives. And he's helped a lot of people uh, make some major changes in their life, not only with money, but in other areas concerning uh, relationships and so forth. So I'm really looking forward to this, Adelary. I'd like to say hello first and bring you on. Hello, Adelary. Hi, Robert, and hi, everyone. Um, it's so, such a pleasure for me to be here with you all today. Thank you so much, Robert, for having me. It's my pleasure. And if you could go ahead and... Um, I feel like I butcher your butcher your last name. So uh, if you could go ahead and tell us your full name. <laughs> My name is Adelary Adishino, right? Adelary Adishino. And I am here in Nigeria. This is where I was born. I was born in Nigeria. I was born in uh, the city of Ibadan. And I still live there. Well, it's been a wonderful city here. So I grew up here, did my all my studies in this city. And I've only just traveled out of it on a few occasions. Uh, so... That's me. And Ibadan, by the way, is one of the uh, largest cities in West Africa uh, and even in Africa. So by land mass, of course, not, not really by population. All right. That's, that's me. <laughs> well, very good. Very good. So Adelary has, uh, it's been almost uh, two and a half years, I think, over two years ago uh, when we uh, recognized your marvelous posts and comments on Neville Goddard Mystic Teachings, uh, the other uh, lead moderator and myself at the time uh, decided, you know what, this gentleman would be excellent to add to our moderation, moderator crew on our just exploding uh, Facebook site that uh, uh, has become the largest manifesting site of the law of assumption on, on the internet, Neville Goddard Mystic Teachings. And it wasn't but a few months later that we recognized you as a coach. And you have had amazing programs on various subjects. And I want you to tell us a little bit about your journey, because although it's effortless to manifest, as we know, because it's a matter of imagining it and really focusing on it and letting it just unfold in our lives. Having said that, we know that you're a hard worker and you have put a lot of personal study and effort and research developing yourself. You said you know that I've been, I've also put in a lot of personal effort and been a hardworking person when it comes to learning and mastery of my imagination. Because I would consider what I'm doing right now effortless, not hard work at all. I had done a lot of hard work in the past, and I'll tell you. Um, right from the age of 15, I started to work on a job. I started to work on jobs from age 15. And I, I, worked, I, I worked as a, con a school teacher to a secondary school, right? Or oh, that's something like a high school in other countries. So to a secondary school. I was actually very brilliant. So it was resourceful. I was very resourceful where I was working. As a teacher there, taught lots of people. And I had to take sometimes take the work of other people with mine. So... I usually had a workload that exceeded what I was meant to do personally from right from very young. And I thought, you know, in my own sense of things, that was the way to feel good about being paid. So I was paid um, 10, 15,000 naira every month. Sometimes it don't come until three, four months later, but I was feeling that, well, I could only deserve it by overworking myself. So, I did that, and I did that for like eight years of my life before I broke through from that way of thinking and from that way of being. Eight years struggling and working hard and trying so much, doing 10 people's work <laughs> as for myself. Okay, so, and then one day I, I made a person who said, have you ever read books about making money? I said, no. And he said, but you said that's one thing you want to do. You want to have so much of money so you could have time for your family, you could be with your uh, wife and your children when they're growing up. 
I said, yes, that's what I want to do, but I have never read books about making money. And I said, well, I'm going to give you a book to read about making money, about changing your life. And he gave me a book, very little book. Um, the name of the book is Home of My Cheese. That was back in 2020. And that's one could you, one say, that, could you say that? I'm, I'm sorry, Larry. Could you name that book a little slower, a little bit more clear, because others will purchase that book probably. Oh, all right. Yes, yeah, sure. Who Moved My Cheese? Uh, Who Moved My Cheese was written. I've forgotten the name of the author now, but he's a favorite person of mine, really. The person who wrote it. Uh, but if you Google Who Moved My Cheese, you'll find the name real quick. It's, so, it's a popular book. So Who Moved My Cheese? I read it, and it blew my mind away. I went, so ideas like this exist. And I never knew them. Then I, of course, continued to study more and find out more. And by... Uh, that was in February 2020. By October, November 2020, I came across Neville Goddard. So that was through Bob Proctor, by the way, who I came across in August 2020. All this from studying. So it was when I met Bob that I realized things could really be the effortless way. Then one day, Bob was reading The Effortless Way. I was talking about it. Then he also read... Uh, uh, a section from Awakened Imagination. It's determined imagination. Thinking from the end is the beginning of all miracles. Those were two books of Neville Goddard that Bob himself liked to study a lot and talk about in his audience, so his audiences. So I was fascinated by the words. Then I went on to look up Neville Goddard, found out something called The Effortless Way, and it was from that moment on that I devoted myself to well studying The Effortless Way learning to live by it, and dropping the hard-working traits and concepts I had for eight years, ruling my life. So things changed overnight just because of that. So that's it. Well, that's amazing. That's amazing. So uh, one of the things, uh, certainly I want to make it clear, when I say you, uh, you worked at it, I mean the sense of difficulty or hard work like you did the, those eight years. What I mean is, is that you're, you're a disciplined person. You read and study and you know your stuff. So you put a lot of time and meditation and study into not only awakened imagination, but all of your, I know you've, you've studied his lecture. Now, and you also were very zealous about attending classes. I remember a couple of years ago, attended uh, a couple of my classes and it wasn't long before we saw potential in you as a teacher or developing as a teacher. And uh, tell us a little bit about that journey. Yes, definitely. So um, before I came across your, your courses, I'd, I'd been with another mentor who taught me in thinking into results. And one day she said, you know, I knew all of this stuff. I'd studied so many books, probably read through 100 books, right? And some of them, I'd gone over them five, 10, even 20 times, really. That was how passionate and determined I was. But one day she said to me, hey, Adelaide, if all that you have is information without transformation, then you're just an entertainer. And I thought to myself, oh, I'm not here to entertain people. I'm not here to be put on stage and you know, amuse the audience of the world. I want to transform myself. I want to see personal transformation. And that led me to committing to put into practice what I learned. Then I came across your um, book study on the power of awareness. So when I came across it, I must tell you, I didn't have the money to actually pay for the classes. But I determined that I was going to attend the class and I was going to pay. I was going to find the money and pay and attend the classes. And, you know, that always brought the money to me at the very moment when the class was about to begin. That class was a landmark class for me also, the class that I conducted, The Power of Awareness. Since then, I've conducted several other classes, and I will have another one. I believe I'll, the next one is going to be December. But you uh, really, that was a spring for you, and you just took off after that. So um, tell me what happened after you did that class and you really kept diving in, and then you contributed to our Facebook site so, so wonderfully. So tell me about that. All right. All right, Robert. So you know, I attended the class, like I said, just out of nowhere, the money always came in, always gotten. Then I began to pay attention. You were emphasizing the practice. 
one has to practice, which was the same thing that my coach had said to me, that you must go from knowing all the information to transforming yourself by applying. And so that made me begin to pay attention to those things I wasn't understanding about the lesson, which was to actually relax, practice, imagine, and, and then let it happen. And I did that. That was that explained all that had happened in my journey from that moment on. I went on simply deciding this is what I want, assume it, and then accept this done. So that's all amazing. The that's the I made, very all good. All the contributions I made on the on the Facebook site, all the insights I share, all those things, they all came from the assumption of a certain state. I just assumed that I was a certain kind of a teacher. I was an inspiring teacher, an effortless teacher. And then the ideas would come, the writing would come, the, and people would say, wow, amazing, that taught me, that inspired, that changed, that transformed. And that was it. You make a very good point there, and I like to emphasize that for our viewers, is that our job is to simply dwell in the imagination of having what we want already. And everything else just simply, as Neville Goddard says, everything else simply happens. And that concept is difficult for many to accept in the beginning because, like yourself, maybe they struggle for eight years or, or maybe longer. They've been just, everything has come from hard work. And yet, Neville made it clear to us, and you and I practice it, that it's a matter of believing it first, having the faith that it's already happened and dwelling in that, and then seeing it unfold. Like you said, you met the right people, people started coming to you for advice, you developed as a teacher, you began to share your knowledge with others and helping others, and it was a natural transformation for you to become a teacher, wouldn't you say? Yes, it was, completely. But like I said, it was all from the state. Just enter the state, I assumed I was already the kind of teacher I would like to be, and I didn't know, you know, I I had no idea I was going to do it. And until today, I can't tell you I have an idea of how I'm doing it. <laughs> I really know. But I know that it happens. It just happens. <laughs> Everything just goes on from that assumption. That's what I can I say. love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Now, listen, I want to, I want to, uh, we have, a, of course, a given amount of time here. And so, one of the couple of things I'll find out or you can tell us about is you manifested love in your life. We're going to talk briefly about that because a lot of my listeners, they're going to be wanting to know your secrets about making money. So we're going to talk about money in a moment. But you've manifested other things in your life like your amazing wife. Tell us briefly that story and then we'll go right into some of your programs that you're uh, you've given people that are available now on Mystics, on the Academy, and uh, others that you have coming up concerning the process of imagining and making money. But tell me about your love life first briefly. We'd love to hear it. Wonderful, Robert. Thank you very much. Well, that is one of the manifestations in my life that up until today, I am still so happy about. It's, it's completely satisfying. It's a thrill. Um, my love life, you know, I had been into relationships before, um, two amazing girls, they were really amazing, but it wasn't working, it just didn't work for one reason or another. And that was because of the concept of self that I held before I entered this relationship, right? You know, I had very unloving concepts about what a relationship would be like, <clears throat> very unloving reactions to other people's relationships and all of those, and it manifested in my relationships and then I had to drop both of them and when I did drop the second one I actually resolved I wasn't going to go for another relationship get another person no I just wanted to enter the state of what I really wanted in my life um, Neville said in this lecture power right it's a fantastic lecture and it talks a lot about manifesting marriage and uh, SP and love and all of those things and he said, just be specific on what you want, but don't specify the person. Be specific on what you want, and then assume the responsibility that would be yours as a man, if you have that. 
or as a woman, assume that you got the ring of the person, the person wore you a ring, and you, you're proud of the man whose name you now wear. That's what it said. So I followed that suggestion. I went on, I specified everything I wanted in my relationship. I went on into the rest of my life, like not for the next one year or two years, but a lifetime. How would I love it to be? What would I love to enjoy? Then I assumed that this was back in June, right? June 2022. Uh, in fact, I could tell you the very specific day. It's 26th of June 2022 that I did this. Then I created a wonderful <laughs> inner conversation from that. And then waking up July 20, uh, June 27th, I went, I'm not going to do anything running after any person again. I just want to travel and see the world. That's what I did. <laughs> so I decided I was going to travel around, see the world, just go to places, forget about love. But every night when I want to fall asleep, I would imagine that thing that I was holding my wife, cuddling her, and I was saying that in a conversation to myself, wow, my wife, I'm enjoying, specified all those things with you for the rest of my life. So I imagined that night after night. Now, the day was June 26th when I started that. I met my wife, um, this beautiful queen, in July, on July 14th, 2022. And mind you, I wasn't looking. For one, I just well, went on assuming. <laughs> that's it. And everything else that occurred it's after that, I. Hilarious. You've been. And then you can continue. All right. So that's absolutely amazing, uh, Adelaria. Uh, you know, you, you manifested love. And you made an excellent point that I hope others get this point when it comes to love. Again, we're going to get to money. Hang on, everybody. Is yeah. that you just decided to lead your life, do more traveling, um, keep developing yourself. But every night you imagined again and again, you were sinking that deep down into your, into your subconscious and developing that, that inner belief that you had that beautiful love in your life and everything else just happened. So you weren't chasing women, you weren't chasing the, you know, the dating sites and so forth. You were simply being yourself, expanding yourself, traveling, enjoying life, very active, getting more and more active as a coach and teacher yourself developing. And then the love found you. You you just found each other. It just worked out. So what I'd like to move on to now, because people are really waiting for this, Adelaide. <laughs> you have had several hands on this money. Tell us a little bit about your philosophy and what you've learned and, and practiced from Neville Goddard and other teachers concerning making money, and then tell them how they can contact you and see your programs. All right, great, great, Robert. Uh, well, when it comes to money, it's one of the important things in my life that I manifested. And I created uh, an overnight miracle with that. Really, it would be, it's something everybody who knows me, okay, I'm talking online right now and so many people are actually far from me, so they're just listening from miles away. But if you meet my family members, if you meet my friends, all of them would say it was an overnight change, right? Just consider it. From somebody who was making 10,000, like I told you earlier, 10,000 naira in a month, to somebody who's now having four million naira in a month. And I went on from working hard to working effortlessly, just being, and then money came, manifested it. So that's changed. Well, these are the kind of things I would, these are some things I could say about that. Number one of the things that I had to learn from Neville Goddard is money doesn't have to come the way I think it's only meant to come. I only have to assume that I have it. That's all. Just assume you have it and then leave the rest to unfold. Your imagination, the father within you, has ways and means that you do not know of. So only assume I have it. And so I, from the day I really got that, what I imagined that particular day was I imagined receiving money. 
I didn't know who, who was going to bring it. I didn't know where it was going to come from. I didn't know what I had to do to get it. I just imagined receiving money. I needed to pay a bill that evening. I imagined it the afternoon. This was back in May 2022. And then before evening, before the, due was, the bill was due, money came. And it didn't come from the person who promised me. It came from the person I least expected. And then I went, wow, I'll try that again. Well, a couple of days later, I tried it again, and money still came. Then I went, I will try that again. <laughs> and I tried it again. Well, that, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so that's amazing. Um, again, if you could just, just kind of uh, emphasize that maybe in another way one more time, because, again, people are saying, what do I have to do? How do I do it? How is it going to come? Rather than asking those questions, what should they be focused on? All right, yeah. Listen to me, friends. This is the very one thing you absolutely must focus on. Focus on what it feels like that you receive money. All right? Don't care what you have to do. Don't care who it's going to come from. Just because at the end of the day, all, you, all that matters is that you did receive the money. It's yours to spend. Once you have that, you have it. So focus on what it's like that you receive money. Could you feel the joy of that? Could you feel the effortlessness, the ease, the pleasure, the satisfaction that comes from you knowing you have money sitting in your account and it's yours to use? That's the first thing. And the second is focus on what it's like that after all your spending, you still have excess left. What is that like? Because that's what you actually mean by rich. Is that <clears throat> you spend all the money you want in this world and you still have money left. You have money untouched. What does that feel like for you? Don't try to go, oh, I have to plan my budget. I have to cut this away. I have to cut that away. You don't need it. The moment you assume that you, have, you always have money left after all the spending you've done, you would automatically, your decisions, your thoughts, the things that interest you, all of it would automatically be adjusted by that assumption. If you could do those two things, and you do it faithfully, I'm not asking you to believe me, just try it for the next two weeks. Don't, don't do it for more than two weeks, just see the effect first. The next two weeks, don't concern yourself with how you're going to get money, where you're going to get it from, who's going to pay you, um, how are you going to manage this, the budget is killing you, don't concern yourself with all of those. Just assume you have money, you've received it, and then feel what it is like that you have excess cash left after all your spending, just two weeks. Focus on that and report the transmission you get, right? So Robert, tell him, oh, this is what I got, this is what I got from, from that thing. I think I'm going to try this for the rest of my life. I promise you that's the decision you'd make. You'd go, I think I'll try this for the rest of my life. <laughs> so that's it. Well, that's absolutely, that's, that's tremendous. It's, it's, it's so inspiring because I know um, you, in your country, as with many countries, not just in Africa, but in Southeast Asia and other parts of the world, uh, there are those who have and those who don't have. And so you're not surrounded by, by millionaires. You're not surrounded by maybe people in certain countries, like perhaps in the West, where it's common for people to be wealthy and be successful. Um, could you tell us, could you translate that for, for our friends in the West? You said 10,000 lira to 4 million lira. What is the what is the approximate value in American dollars, do you think? Back at the time, 10,000 um, lira was, was like $20. At the moment, it's actually like $10. But back at that time, that was like $20 in a month that I was making. And I went from that to making um, about $4,000 in a month effortlessly, right? So Beautiful. That was, yes, Beautiful. That, was, that was a massive change for me. So, and I know in your country, $4,000 is a tremendous amount of money. I mean, the economy in America, that would still be good, good money, but in your country, and I know that uh, with the, on the course you're on, that money will double and triple and so forth. So if people want to take any, we only have a few minutes left. If people want to take your programs, 
what would you suggest they do? Where would they go to find your programs? I'm gonna I'm gonna put your programs in the description below my video. But uh, tell us a little bit real quick about your programs and uh, what they could expect if they take one of your Zoom classes. All right, yes. Uh, the places you could find my programs, uh, you could find them on True Cosmic, right? We have so many amazing coaches there, same as Robert. Robert is a coach there with me. So you you would find my programs on truecosmic.com. Just go to truecosmic.com and you would uh, look for a deliver. You'd find mastery of revision, mastery of self concept, mastery of inner conversation. You'd find even you'd find programs on money that I've made on truecosmic.com. And you also come to my website, right, adelareaddictional.com. You'd find um, programs there also. You'd find wealth drill. I absolutely recommend that, especially if you want to be wealthy, if you want to live your life of wealth, that is a program I would recommend that you take, Wealth Drill. Um, that doesn't have a one-on-one, -on -one, but it's great. It's a program you go through, you realize you're already a billionaire or a multi-millionaire, whatever you want to be. I don't care. You just know it and assume it. Pat Larry, uh, you are, again, a amazing to know your progress and what you're doing for others to help them manifest their dreams. And so, again, many people are going to be contacting. Any final thoughts for us from you to the rest of the world? Yes, definitely, Robert. Uh, one thing I'd like to say is at the end of the day, you are God. There is no joke about that, and there is no doubt about that. You are not a part of the ocean. You are the whole sea. You are the ocean, you are God, completely and absolutely. We forgot it. You know, you look at a baby that's born. Whenever I look at babies, I go, this person has gone through total amnesia. They don't remember who they were. But that's who you are. And all the desires that you have in this world, you're manifesting them for a reason. To remind yourself that you are absolutely the creator, the father, the one who's bringing all things to be. So out of that, that work from that level, <clears throat> from that viewpoint, I'm the father, I'm the creator, I'm God. And there is only one thing I could offer to my creation today, love. At the end of the day, that's really one thing that stands out of all, love. What is, what is it like for you is that you love this person, that you love that person, that you love this experience for them? that you love that experience for them. One thing we didn't get to talk about really during the session was uh, is one thing that I have absolutely enjoyed in my life. Robert, I don't think it's the money that I got or the relationship that I got that is my biggest surprise in manifestation. I think it is the uncanny ability to imagine lovingly for other people and it happens in their life. And I just... I don't know them. I've not seen them. Right? Like I told you, I've really not stepped out of Ibada more than a few times. But I hear about somebody and I hear something about them and I would like to change that. Then I imagine something great for them and a couple of days or weeks later or months later, they came back to me and they say, hey, it happened. Hey, this happened. They don't even know I imagined it. Please take note of that. They don't know I imagined it. They just come back and say, hey, this occurred in my life. <laughs> and I go, congratulations. So you can do that. Well, Adelary, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure yeah. having you. It's been a pleasure having you. Finishing with a thought, not just about how to make money, but that the most important thing is our love for others and expressing love in our life uh, as God. And you know what? That's a wonderful example for us. Thank you so much, Adelary from Nigeria. Uh, it's it's been such pleasure. a pleasure having you. I'm gonna I'm gonna mention real quick before we go. Uh, be sure and subscribe, comment, and we'd love to hear your thoughts. And also feel free to contact Larry. His his information will be linked in the uh, description below. Larry, once again, thank you so much for your precious time. And I know you always have more work to do. So you have a marvelous day, and thank you so much. Thank you very much, Robert. So uh, have a good day, everyone. Thank you all, friends. Bye-bye.